pastor, Good morning. Amen. Deacon, church family, yes. Mother Scott. Good morning. Amen. Uh, first of all, I'd like to give honor and glory to my Lord and Savior, yes. Jesus Christ. Because yes. for him not being in my life and saving me, not just being in my life, but yes, saving Lord. me, yes. I wouldn't be here today. Yes. As the pastor said on the way here, there was a serious near accident that could have caused him. I was driving behind him. Could have caused a serious accident between the two of us and a young lady who lost control of her car. Jesus. Left from the left lane, came all the way across the front of him by a split second, and I slammed on my brake to avoid hitting him. So it was nothing but the glory of God, and I just yeah. praise God for his love, his understanding. Yes. 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 Jesus. Yes. His protection. Yes. Yes. His blood. Yes. His faith in us that we want to do right by him. Yes, I just Lord. want to thank him for all that he's done for me and all he's about yes, to do. Jesus. Lord, I thank him. Yes, Lord. Lord, I thank you. I yes. thank you for your son. I thank you for not only what he has done, but what he's about to do in yes. our lives today. Yes, Lord. There's a whole lot of us here who are wondering what the next step is. Amen. Well, first of all, we don't need to wonder. That's right. Because our steps are ordered by the Lord. Amen. So by us wondering, we are hindering what God has already placed in our lives and what he wants to do for us. Yes. So what we need to do is focus, yes. basically, on what he wants. Yes. If we ask him to guide our footsteps, guide our tongues, guide our minds, guide our spirits, our hearts, and our minds, we can't help but do the right thing. Yes. And others need to know that too. Amen. So they're watching us. No matter who we are, if we say we're a Christian, we need to own up to it. Yes, Lord. And, and I, I say that for the simple fact that not for the people here. Yes. Because I know you already know. Yes. I'm talking about the people we see every day who want to know what's in us. They can't understand. Mm -hmm. So we continue to show who we really are. Yes, Lord. In Christ. Then they'll get it. Because they're going to ask, what is it that's so different about you? What, what, what is so, why do you smile all the time? I know you got problems. I know you got problems paying your bills sometimes. I, I know you have family members that passed on. What, what, what are you so happy about? Man. I'm happy because of Jesus. Man. I'm happy because of Jesus. Man. His name reigns over any yeah. name, any time, anywhere, yeah. for any reason. Yeah. Any reason. Yeah. His name will cast out demons. His yeah. name will move mountains. Yes, His yeah. name will put food in your mouth yes, when you didn't expect it. Yes, when you were looking for it, didn't know where your next meal was going to come yes, from. Yes. All I can say to you today is we need to remember who we are in Christ. Yes, Lord. Yes. People used to say, I'm a Christian. And I would ask them, what kind of Christian are you? Yeah, go ahead. What kind of Christian are you? Because a believer of Christ is a Christian. Yes. Anybody can believe in Christ. But are you walking the walk? There you go. Are you talking the talk? Yes. What kind of Christian are you? So I say to the church family today, yes, Lord. and I say to myself, yes, Lord. what kind of Christian am I? Yes. Yes. Can I prove it? Yes. Can I show it? Yes. Can I live it? Can I believe it? Can I be it? Yes. The answer is yes. yes. So pass on your Christianhood to everybody you meet because yes, they need it. They need Jesus. Yes. Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. the Lord. Amen.